Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked, and today we are going to learn how to significantly increase the speed of image generation for any stable diffusion model out there. To do this, we will use LoRa models that will transform the main model we usually use into an LCM. LCM is short for latent consistency models and is the technique revolutionizing the world of stable diffusion these days. It allows our model to generate impressive images with very few steps. In what we typically use 20 or 30 steps to generate an image, with an LCM model, only four to eight steps are needed. This reduces the waiting time for image generation by 70%. So it's fantastic because we've practically tripled the speed of image generation. However, not everything that glitters is gold. It should be noted that the generated images are not of the same quality as those generated by standard models. They are good, but not excellent. For this reason, this technique is recommended, especially for video generation, where the quality of a single frame depends not only on the main model, but also on other factors. In other words, LCM can be of great help if your computer is slow in image generation or if you mainly work on video generation. In other cases, I recommend sticking with standard models for now. Perfect. After this introduction, let's move on to generating a simple video. First of all, you need to update Comfy UI to the latest version. In my case, with the portable version, go to the Update folder and press Update Comfy UI. In other cases, you can download the latest files from the official Comfy UI GitHub. Or if you installed it with Git clone, simply run git pull from the main directory to get the latest changes. Great. Now we need the two essential models I mentioned at the beginning. So, go to Hugging Face at these addresses, links in the description. Uh, download them and place them in the LoRa folder, inside the Models folder, in Comfy UI. For clarity, I renamed them according to the type of model they support. Now let's start Comfy UI and set up a normal image generation flow. To have reference values for what we'll do next, let me try generating an image with a custom prompt. Well, for the generation of this image, it took us 1.65 seconds. Now, let's try with LCM. As I mentioned earlier, the models we downloaded are LoRa, so we'll load them using the Load LoRa node. For this example, I'll use a model based on Stable Diffusion 1.5, as they are still the most commonly used types of models. Now let's load a new node that was recently added to Comfy UI to allow users to use LCM. The node is called Model Sampling Discrete. In the sampling, select LCM and proceed to make the connections in this way. Great, now just one last thing regarding the case sampler. First of all, we'll now have a new sampler called LCM, which we'll select. Then, set the steps to 6. And since LCM also requires a very low CFG, we'll set it to 1.2 for this example. Feel free to experiment with other values. We're ready for image generation with LCM. Start the generation and see how long it takes. 
Fantastic. For the generation of this image, it took 0.60 seconds, practically one third of the time. Now, let's move on to the video part, which, as I mentioned, is one of the areas where the use of LCM models makes more sense. I should note that in this example, I won't focus on the quality of the result. Instead, I want to show you how much faster generation based on LCM models can be. Uh, to do this, we'll create a simple video-to-video -video flow similar to the one of the tutorial where I introduced this topic. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it so you can better understand this flow in more detail. Well, open the load video node and select a sample video. I'll use the one I got from Vidivo. We'll simply pass the output of this node as latent to the K-sampler. So, reduce the noise of the key sampler to 0.30 and restore the normal values for generation without LCM. I'm doing this only to show you the normal generation time so that we can compare these values again with what we'll see later. Great. Now replace the save image with save video. Adjust the load video parameters as you like. In my case, I decided on a resolution reduction plus loading only the first 40 frames with smaller batch sizes of 15. Connect the metadata to the input of save video and start the generation. The generation of these 40 frames took a processing time of 8663 seconds. Perfect, now let's add the LCM nodes as before and set the case sampler in the same way. Okay, now start the generation. As you can see, the processing took much less time, happening in only 30.7 seconds. As expected, the result is not impressive, but I promise that in one of the next videos, I'll try to explain how to achieve decent results with nodes like Anima Diff. And that's all for today. I hope, as always, that this video has been helpful. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this tutorial useful. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And until next time, keep dreaming.